If you're a New Yorker and you're considering installing solar panels on your home, then stop right there. I want you to watch this video first because I'm gonna be explaining three reasons why New York is one of the best places to go solar right now. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past 11 years I've been helping families achieve energy independence using clean, renewable energy. Now, if you're new to the Solar Surge channel, on Solar Surge we cover solar panels, batteries, inverters, EV chargers, pretty much all the different equipment and technology that makes up a home solar power system. Um, we also do informative educational videos talking about various aspects of solar policy uh, like today's video here where we're talking about the solar program and the solar incentives in New York State. Now I've got to say the conditions right now in New York are just about the best of any state in the United States and it's due to three main factors. The first factor of course is high electric rates. Now the higher your electric rates are the faster your solar power system is going to pay for itself. Uh, very simply because if, if you can produce and directly consume the electricity you generate from solar panels on your roof, then that's less electricity you have to buy from the power company. So if the power company charges you a higher rate, then the amount of cost that you're saving by consuming your own solar electricity is higher. Now this, is a, this is a pretty simple concept, but basically the higher electric rates are in your area, the faster the payback or the better the payback you're going to receive on your solar investment. And so what we're seeing in New York State, particularly in, in the lower half of New York State from Albany and then south through New York City and Long Island, we're seeing electric rates now that are 25, 30 cents per kilowatt hour, which is very, very high. And I understand that you know, there, there's a pain factor there of having to pay those high rates, but what it also means is that the relief factor in making the investment in solar means that your solar system is going to pay back twice as fast as the average American because your electric rates are twice as high. Uh, and the nice thing about it, the, the cost of installing solar in New York is not actually that much higher at all. The cost of installing solar in New York is maybe, maybe 5 to 10 percent higher uh, than a lower cost state like Florida or Texas. But with electric rates double, it means the value of the solar electricity you, you generate is double. So you're, you, know, you pay 5% higher price to get double the return on investment is essentially how this works. So that's condition number one. Now the second factor is the one-for-one -one net metering program. Now when we talk about a net metering program what we mean is that your relationship with the power company becomes a two-way relationship. Right? During daylight hours you can produce solar electricity and power your home directly and you can sell your excess solar electricity back to the power company. It actually will flow back out through your meter and build up as credits on your account. So that during evening hours when the solar panels are no longer producing, you can draw from those credits you earned during daylight hours. So at the end of the billing cycle, your bill balances out to zero. So this is called a net metering program. And there are different versions of net metering, but the best program is the one where you get equal value credits. So in other words, when you send the power company a kilowatt hour, they credit you the same rate as when, when they sell it when you have to buy it from them. So that way you're getting full price value whether you directly use the electricity or maybe you have to send some of it back to them during the day and then buy it back at night. But you want that true one-for-one -one net metering credit or that full net metering credit and that's how the program in New York is working right now. Now, for those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that many other states are changing their net metering rules. Uh, of course, the biggest one was California. Earlier this year, the California Public Utilities Commission voted to eliminate the one-for-one -one net metering credit in California, and they've moved for more of a time of use or avoided cost type of setup where, although the power company might charge you 30 cents per kilowatt hour when you're buying it from them, they'll only credit you back seven or eight cents per kilowatt hour when you're selling it to them. That means you have to generate four kilowatt hours of excess for every one that you get to pull back in for free. That's not what you want. What you want is the true one-for-one -one net metering, and that's what we have in New York right now. 
So for those two reasons, I would say New York is basically where California was five or 10 years ago. And you all know what a tear solar has been on in California in the last decade. Well, the conditions in New York state right now and with the additional state incentives, which I'm gonna tell you about in a moment, it makes the conditions in New York ripe for solar right now, which means that if you're a homeowner considering the solar investment, the time to get in is now. Lock in your net metering, one for one net metering agreement now. It also means if you're a solar sales professional or a solar installer, maybe you're considering relocating from another state like California, New York is a great place to consider right now, again, because the economic conditions are so excellent that even with higher interest rates and different things that we're having to deal with in the economy right now, the solar value proposition in New York is excellent. Meaning you can do a zero down, 100% financing on your solar system, and what you save on your electric bill could be double what your monthly cost for the solar system is. Okay, those numbers aren't gonna hold true for everybody. I mean, the house has to qualify. You have to have good irradiance, minimal shading. I mean, there, there are certain factors that you have to qualify. But if your house is a good candidate for solar, it means that by switching to solar, you could replace, let's say, a $400 a month Edison bill with a $200 a month or so solar bill with no cash out of pocket, and you just pocket the extra $200 a month savings. So again, homeowners, sales reps, solar installers, New York is a market that you definitely wanna take a look at because of those two factors. And then of course, the third factor here is the state incentives. So the New York State, it's called NYSERDA, N-Y-S-E-R-D-A. Um, they are offering additional financial incentives for homeowners to install solar. Uh, in fact, five of the top utility companies in New York are offering you a 20 cents per watt rebate uh, on, on the cost of the solar system. So that means for the average size household, you're gonna get an extra $1,800 back from your local, uh, your local utility because of the NYSERDA incentives, which means that it's even faster payback you know, on your solar investment. So if you consider all the factors, high electric rates, one for one net metering, extra NYSERDA rebates, uh, and then of course everybody qualifies in the US, everybody for the 30% federal tax credit. Now I should say, if your income is, is, is taxable, if you have federal, federal tax liability, um, that's another 30% uh, rebate or tax credit that would come off your system cost. So there, there are many, many reasons why New York State is the best state in the U.S. right now to invest in solar. Now, it may not be this way always, but as far as right now, the time is right, the conditions are right right now, whether you're a sales professional, whether you're a, a homeowner considering investing in solar, or whether you're a solar contractor trying to decide which state you'd like to position your business, I think New York State is definitely one that you're gonna to wanna to consider. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from these videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also go back and watch some of the other videos on the Solar Surge channel. We teach you all about how the panels work, how the inverters work, how the batteries work. Um, so if you wanna learn about this process and understand what you're getting yourself into before you sign an agreement with a salesperson, then go back and watch the videos because we teach you about all these things. Uh, of course, if, if you're a homeowner and you're in the process of actually getting quotes and getting bids for your home, um, if you need to get a price quote or if you already have one, maybe you just need to get a comparison to make sure you're getting the best deal. Uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll allow you to set up a quick Zoom meeting with me or with one of our experts here and we'll just talk through some different options and get some pricing and some information to you. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Um, again, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already so you can stay up to date with us and our, our videos will come up in your feed so you can stay on top of things. Uh, and as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.